Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States, which is 10 a.m. in Australia or 1 a.m. if you're in the UK. The time I got away from me this morning. <laughs> I hope all you guys and girls are well. Selfless one, hi to you as well. I'm doing really well. And yes, probably more game art today. We're going to continue working on the um, snake mirror for the study. Well, maybe the study. I haven't decided where I'm going to put that. It's actually uh, an inventory item. We'll work that out when I jump into Unreal, when we start putting the study together. Um, do remember guys though, if you miss the live streams, you can always catch up and watch them at any time by clicking the videos tab either above or below my stream, depending on which Twitch layout you have. The new Twitch layout, it should be below my stream. Uh, and as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to pop into chat and ask me. If you just want to say hello, that's always welcome, but if all you want to do is watch, that's completely fine. So. Yes, we're working on the study for the house in the hollow game, which you can wishlist right now on Steam. Either type exclamation Steam in Twitch chat or click on the graphic in my panel below my stream. I think if you go to home or something, <laughs> Twitch have changed the layout. But anyway, in the panels below my stream, you'll find a graphic that says uh, wishlist the house in the hollow on Steam. You can click that as well. All right, so we're going to be using uh, Max to do the modeling. We're using Ryzen to do the UV mapping. And we're using Substance Painter to do the texturing. Now, last week we UV mapped the mirror. We vertex paint, we vertex colored the mirror. So now we can probably jump straight into texturing. So let's jump into Max. This is the mirror we are going to be working on. So let me select it so Max has something to lock onto. Uh, we UV mapped it. I'm pretty sure we vertex painted it, colored it. Let's just double check. Yes, we did. So now we can export it and bring it into Substance Painter to texture it. Okay. Let's do that. Let's export the mirror. Now I'm going to be exporting it without the mirror bit in the middle. I'm just keeping it separate at this stage so that uh, when we bring it into the Unreal Engine, I can add a material, a mirror material to that. We don't need that bit in Substance Painter while we texture it up though. And we're just going to export it as hand mirror. It looks like I may have exported it already, but we'll just do it again. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, let's jump straight into Substance Painter and create a new project. Make it 2K, compute tangent space, okay. And we don't have any flipped polys, which is good. Let's bake out our maps using the low poly as the high poly and making sure that the ID is set to vertex color. Okay. Alrighty, let's see now. How are we going to texture this beast up? Um, 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 um. I guess we're going to do metal. I guess. Mm. Let's just jump into my smart materials. And have a look. Um. We, we could make the, the round part of the mirror wood if we wanted to. Just just give me a minute here while I have a look and, and sort of decide how I want to texture this up. So that's metal. The outside is going to be metal. The snake is probably going to be a metal. But let's throw a wood on here and see what it looks like. We can always change it if we don't like it. 
have a look at this wood. This wood should work for what we want. Let's just delete the blank layer at the bottom. And jump into our smart material and play with it a little bit. Android Lust, it's good to see you, buddy. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? It's always good to see you, though, Android Lust. Um, I think they're starting to to um, let people out a bit more now, so I don't know what that's like where you live, wherever you are, whoever, you know, depending on what part of the world you are, I think it's all different. Even <laughs> I live in Australia here, and even here, the different states within this country all have different rules as to how many people can gather together and where you can go and what you can do and... It's all a bit confusing, but I hope you're well. <laughs> okay, let's play with this mask a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just going to restrict it just to the mirror part because it's, it's distracting me with it being applied to everything else. So I'm just going to mask it with color selection to the mirror. That way we won't get confused. You're good. Time flies by since I've been stuck at home. I know. Actually, today in the state that I live in, Victoria in Australia, they're, they're letting some of the school kids back, so that starts today. I don't know how the kids feel about that. I don't know if they've liked work being at home or not. <laughs> I know if I was still going to school, I probably would have liked being at home with my parents instead of going into school every day, personally. But that's just me and I'm just weird. Smurfberry Barbecue, it's good to see you on an exciting new episode of Phil Does Chat. That's right. <laughs> shut up. Oh, <laughs> uh, listen, you know I'm a motor mouth and I can't shut up. <laughs> Hellforge, it's good to see you. Hellforge says, good morning, y'all. I finally managed to be awake enough to catch the stream again. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, Hellforge. I hope you're having a good day as well. Android Love says, hey, to Hellforge. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's uh, really late. In places in like in Europe it's early hours of the morning so I know it's hard for you guys because I even I work in I live in Australia but I work on an American schedule so I stream at 5 p.m. Pacific time US time uh, and that's um, at the moment anyway in Australia that's like early morning for me it's around 10 a.m. but I know in Europe it's like you know at least 1 a.m. in in the UK anyway Alright, let's, 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 let's. We're not going to see this part of the mirror, unfortunately, the interior part, because that's where the mirror glass goes. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see the back, though. We might come back to that. I'm just deciding whether I'm going to make that wood or metal. The rest of the mirror is probably going to be metal, though. So I thought a bit of wood would be nice. It's 2 a.m. Hype Hellforge says, wow, 2 a.m. in the morning, man. That's about the time I generally start going to bed, personally. Like, I get up at 6.30 in the morning, I've told you guys. Um, and I generally go to bed, to bed anywhere between 1 and 3, depending on what, how caught up in whatever it is I'm doing at the time on the PC. I pulled a, quite a few late-nighters over the weekend, actually. I was working till 3, 3.30. No rest for the wicked, as they say. All right, let's um, let's move on to another metal. So let's have a look here. And we might come back to the frame. Let's have a look at... Let me just close that group up. Let's have a look at this one. I quite like that. I actually quite like it being metal here as well. <laughs> oh dear. 
a little bit. We don't want it. Uh, we, we do want to add a bit of um, mixing different colors everywhere. So we'll do that. Healthwatch says it's crazy as it sounds. Insomnia is pretty good for productivity, if nothing else. Although I wouldn't recommend it in the long term. I don't you. I hate insomnia. I hate not being able to sleep. I generally find too that when I've been working on the PC, it, it takes. But I have to like chill at least for half an hour before I go to bed. Otherwise, my mind just keeps racing and racing and racing, and I can't sleep. So that insomnia is just a nightmare. And I find it happens, particularly if I've got a pro if I had a problem. <laughs> Recently, I've been working, uh, doing some stuff on the game development, uh, some programming side stuff, and I had a, a problem with that that I've been trying to solve. And I, I, I solved it last night, and I finished. I went to bed. I think about what time was it? I think it was around about between two and two thirty. I can't remember exactly. Um, but then it took me a half an hour before I could fall asleep, so I didn't get to actually fall asleep in bed until about three because I kept. The problem kept racing through my mind. Anyway, um, what are we going to do here? <sighs> yeah, I actually quite like the uh, metal more than the wood. I'll leave the wood layer there, but we might end up removing it. Uh, but we're not finished yet. There's a lot of metal, and I want to make uh, I want to make it all look uh, a little bit more interesting by being a bit different. So let us. Um, I'm going to leave this layer here as applying to the entire model just at the moment. Hellforge says I have the same issue, so I usually read for a bit before sleeping. Yeah, I, it helps calm me down and stop my mind from running over with issues I encountered while working. Yeah, I know that's supposed to be. A, well, they say. If you go to bed and you can't sleep, and <laughs> don't lie there tossing and turning. Get up, like you said, read a book, have a glass of warm milk or something. Um, and then eventually your body will feel tired and you'll go back to bed. They, they say that's the best thing to do, but maybe I'm just too lazy. Once I'm curled up in bed, I don't want to get out again, even if I can't sleep. Bad bill. Uh, let's just have a look at this metal. Uh, no, I don't quite like that. Let's have a look at this metal. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm just going to do a quick save here because I don't trust the program. Just to be on the safe side. I'm going to call it Snake Mirror. Uh, we'll leave that layer there. I'm just going to turn it off temporarily while we keep going through and have a look at some of the other metals. No, I don't like that. Might be good as a contrast. Again, let's just turn it off and uh, see if there's anything else I've missed. What about this one? Is that, I think that's the same one I threw down before, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, <laughs> let's remove that one. Don't want to do the same thing twice. Oh no, it's not. It's a different one. Actually, it is a different one. That was that one. This is this one. All right. We'll keep going with some more. I just want to check this one. Okay, again, I'm just going to do a quick save here. Now we're going to start going through, I'm, I'm texturing this one up a little bit differently to the way I textured the other ones up that I've shown you. Um, I'm throwing the material down over the entire mirror. Now I'm going to go through each layer and start assigning it to a particular um, material ID. Hellforge says, or just sit down again by the computer and start manually un <laughs> unwrapping something. Uh, disclaimer, side effects may include falling asleep on the desk. <laughs> confusion, it's good to see you, Confusion. Long time no see. I'm really well. I hope you are too. We've just been talking about um, working late, because I generally work till, um, till quite late in the morning, depending on, <laughs> on the deadline on the project or just how involved and engrossed I am in what I'm doing. Because I've said to you guys before, it's 
I, I tend to sit down and I start working because I mean I love what I do. I, I enjoy my, my, my work. Uh, so the time seems to fly by really quickly and I can go like the whole day without even eating, which is bad. You don't want to do that. You must eat. It's bad, bad, bad. Bad feel. Bad. Um, but I can go the entire day and I haven't eaten anything. So because I just get so caught up in what I'm doing. But I'm good. My week was good. My weekend was good. I hope yours was too, Confusion. Confusion says, nice object there. You, can you rotate? I certainly can rotate for you. We're still texturing it up, so don't judge it on its textures yet. But uh, we've just started texturing it up. It's a snake mirror that's going in the game, the House in the Hollow game. Looks nice, thanks. So now we're going to start actually doing a bit of mixing, I think. In the Hellforge. That's the House in the Hollow game. You can wish this. Thank you, Hellforge. You're right now on Steam. Your week was good. Good to hear. And you're coping with the lockdown or being let out of the lockdown now because they're starting to let people out and about. Okay, let's go through this now. Um, I'm going to keep this gold on the entire mirror just at the moment. Now this gold, we're going to start masking with uh, color selection. Smurfberry says, uh, I just had one of those missed opportunities ideas. The mansion owner could have been obsessed with ferrets. Ferret statues everywhere. He was obsessed with angels, so there are angel statues everywhere in the game. Uh, if you go to the Steam store page, there's a couple of screenshots from a few different areas in the game and you'll see quite a few angels. He's obsessed with angels. Well, he was. Well, he is. We don't know. I don't want to spoil the game, so we're not sure what... That's part of the mystery. What happened to Mr. Barrett? It's his mansion that you're exploring. Okay. Not quite enough of a difference happening between these two here, so I'm going to... I, I masked it just to these swirly, big swirly bits on the side, and if I turn it on and off, we can see that we're not really getting much of a difference between the two textures. So, uh, I'm going to remove that mask, just turn that layer off. Clear out the mask. That's what I'm thinking, why is it not working? Remove the mask. There we go. Smurper says, hide one angel statue with a ferret face. <laughs> Ooh, could you imagine? Oh, I guess. I was just going to say, though, you, you get some people. If, you know, if I turn one of the statue's faces into a ferret's face, I'm pretty sure I get complaints from someone. Because, you know, you know what the internet's like. There's always, people always want to bitch about something. You get people that were really just saying, how dare you do that to an angel? You know, all that sort of business. Can never please everyone. So I've given up trying. <laughs> Let's uh, look at this one here. I'm just going to turn... I'm confusing myself here. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to turn the next layer on. We'll work with this layer instead. It would be pretty funny, Android Lost says it would be. Mercury says those people can take a long walk or a short pier. I agree. Oh, you know what the internet's like, though. So many trolls around. Well, I don't know if they're trolls or if they're just genuine gen people that are genuinely, you know, upset at something. You can never tell. Okay, uh, so basically I've just set that material to those large swirly bits there. Let's keep going through our materials here. See, a lot of these are gold, so they're not really different from the underlying layer. So... Uh, this one is, it's got more of a green in it, more of a tarnished green metal. So this one might be interesting. Let's uh, mask with a color selection on this. Let's mask it to this bit here. Okay, 
I'm just going to turn that off temporarily so we can check this one again. Okay, yeah, th this one is really probably not different enough to be useful, so we might remove this layer completely. And then we have this layer here. Keep that one on, keep that one on. We might do a mix between these two. They are very similar though. Uh, I think I want to change up these uh, smallest decorative pieces as well, but we'll have a look. But I agree, they can take a, lo a long walk up a short PS memory. I agree. Um, Okay, so that's that one, that's that one, this one, mm, again it's here, yeah, it's really similar, we might remove this layer, I don't know if we can really use it, just because it's just too similar to everything else, so we'll remove that. So what have we got here now, we've got the main layer, we've got the large swirly bits, and then we've got the large swirly bit at the bottom. Um, let me have a look at my materials here, see if there's anything else that might be cool. Let's have a look at, let me do a quick save, just again to be on the safe side, because I turn auto save all, you guys know I, I can't stand having auto save turned on, so I, I turn it all, disable. I don't like the program slowing down while I'm working, I do that with all the software I use, but <laughs> it does mean if it crashes I lose my work if I don't save, and that has happened. Uh, let's have a look at hmm. It's too gold. Oh, I need something that's not quite so goldy. Because there's a lot of gold on that mirror already. And I'm looking for something that might be an underlying layer that I can do a mix on. Maybe this one. Let's have a look at this one. This might be cool. Okay, let's mask with color selection. And we're going to mask this just to the snake at this stage. I want to concentrate on the snake. Just rotate it around so we can get a good look at it. Um, I'm going to go into my smart masks. And let's have a look here. Let's have a look at this uh, dirt soft edges. So we have full on gold, full on removed gold. Uh, I'm just going to get a so try and get an interesting blend between the two. The eyes are missing because they're going to be rubies inside of the, or emeralds or whatever, inside of the game engine. You know I wouldn't want to lie to you, so trust me when I 
Pull it down a little bit more. Okay, let us have a look at back to my smart materials. Must be something cool here I can use. I'm sort of looking at the material, looking at the model, and imagining what the material might look like on the model as far as color mixing goes. Avoid silver. Decisions, decisions. Come on, you can do it. Program just hitching a little bit. Let's have a look at. I did do a save, didn't I? Let's have a look at this um, bronze here. And this is quite a heavy material, so it, it does take the program a little while to actually <laughs> get it back together and work out what's going on. It has dropped, it's just taking a while for the program to apply it. Because the material is quite large. It has a lot of layers, that's what I'm trying to say. So we'll just sit here and wait. Sit up straight, Phil. Alright, let me sit up straight. I've been told. There we go. Try not to cut off the top of my head. It hasn't crashed. We went through this last week, remember? It just. I try and avoid using these specific smart materials because of the problem that they are they're quite heavy. Smurfery says, oh, sorry, Edo, it's good to see you, Edo. Uh, Edo asked a question, I think, while we're waiting for this to apply. If anyone knows, again, I can't help out because I'm not a character artist, but Edo was asking if anyone knew a good way to do eyelids for a character model. Maybe uh, Android Lost does characters, so he might know. Uh, Android Lost says, I took a week off personal projects, just started back yesterday. Well, it's Perfectly cool, fine, well and good. If you're feeling a bit burnt out, which is easy to do when you start doing creative work, um, to take up a bit of a break, that's a good idea. You get refreshed and you're back at it and you're feeling anew. You don't want to work on something if you're pushing yourself to do it because you're not going to do good work anyway. So taking a break is a good idea. Um, Speaking of which, my mid-year break comes at the end of uh, June, so in about four weeks' time or so, I'm taking two weeks off to go to my cabin in the woods like I do every year, middle of winter, or start of winter, no, it'll be middle, it'll be beginning of winter, sort of four weeks into winter for me. Uh, I go to the cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere, like, you know, at least 20 to 30 miles from another house. <laughs> it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, no technology, no TVs, no phones, no computers. I do that once a year just to uh, to de-stress and de-stress and recharge because I work with technology all day, every day. It's nice to get away from it. Uh, Andrew Lost says, "Where? What was the question, Edo? I don't know if I could answer, but I could try." 
Um, yeah, no, I just Edo posted in the Discord. So again, if you <laughs> if you're new to the channel, don't post uh, any links in my Twitch chat unless you're a sub to my channel. But everyone can post a link in Discord. So the Phil Does 3D Discord server is where you can uh, show off uh, your work in the gallery or ask questions if you've got a problem or there's a tutorials and tips section, all that sort of stuff. And he was asking about doing eyelids. Oh, that's right, you did. You posted in the gallery, didn't you, Edo? Come on, why is it so slow? Trust me, it hasn't crashed. I can hear my machine going over there. It's just so slow, these, these materials, man. Um, I'm just jumping in the, 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 don't think if you post on Discord I won't see it because Discord is open at the same time as my Twitch chat is open here while I stream. Uh, and Edo did post images of the eyelids, so it looked like, uh, it looked like it worked it out Edo. They're looking pretty cool, the heads, headshots. Smurfberry says number one. There we go, it finally got there and <laughs> after all of that you know I don't like this material. So I'm going to... <laughs> There we go. Yeah, no, the, the eyelids look pretty cool. Oh, Edo's removed one of them. <laughs> you love removing your images, don't you? Uh, there's one, one, one left, and that's the one he's obviously chosen. Oh, he's putting more images in, but look at what's going on here. <laughs> And bone posted. No, 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 I'm getting confused. What's going on with the Discord? <laughs> anyway, back to what we were doing. Yes, you like to keep it clean, which is fine. They're your images. You remove them or add them as you see fit. I'm not criticizing, I'm just commenting. Um, we have the handle here, this handle that runs through where the snake is grabbing on. It, I, I want a bit of wood somewhere, I think, in this mirror, so let's, um, let's do this. I'm going to move this layer to the very top. What do you guys think? Do you like the wooden frame around the mirror or do you prefer the metal frame around the mirror? Keep in mind the, the middle of the mirror is going to be covered by glass, like a mirror, by a mirror. So we're not going to see the inside. It's mainly just the exterior rim that we're looking at here. Metal or wood? Wood, metal. Wood, metal. Actually, what about both? What if, what, what, what if we try and do a mix? Um, Kayad Art, is it? Kayad Art, thank you for following. My apologies, I don't pay enough attention to what's going on on my second screen. Kayad uh, Art, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name, but thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it, guys and girls, when you do follow my Twitch channel, so thank you. Welcome to Phil Does 3D. You like the metal? Okay. Well, what if we do try and do a mix between the metal and the wood? What about that? Like, so we could sort of, would that be a real thing though, metal and wood? We could make it look like it was um, a painted metal wood, like, or we could just leave it as metal. <laughs> uh, Confusion says metal, like the metal. Edo says that makes sense. Android Lust says wood makes me think it's cardboard. Cardboard isn't. That's true. That's very true. Okay, so what I'm going to do here with the color selection is I'm going to remove the uh, the green, which is the mirror, the, the frame. So now it's actually just on the uh, piece that runs up through the center, the handle. That's the word I'm looking for, handle. I just want to try and get a bit more color variation. I just, I'm just one concerned that this metal, 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 metal. Uh, so, well, maybe if we make the uh, handle here itself wood, just so we got a bit of a different color. It helps to separate the snake a bit more too from from the handle. And I'd, I'd like to do something with this seal at the top to distinguish it a little bit more. So let's have a look at trying to do something with that. Stop touching your face, Phil. Bad, bad, Phil. 
That's two slaps today for Phil. Very bad. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. And I also want to thank um, Krivori. My again, sorry if I mispronounce your name. Anyone's name. Uh, Krivori, thank you as well for following. Phil does 3D. Welcome. Do remember, guys, though, too, if you do want to join the Discord server, you can click this link I've just popped into Twitch chat. Um, if you want to show off your work in the gallery on the Discord server, I love looking at the stuff you guys are making. One of the main reasons I'm on Twitch is to encourage you guys to do 3D uh, and to look at the work that you guys are doing. So if you want to post in the gallery, go right ahead on the Discord server. Um, like I said, there's a tutorial and tips section, which is full of useful information, as well as uh, uh, portfolios and demo reels you can post to your art station and all that sort of jazz. If you guys are new to my channel and you want to know more about me, you can go to phildoes3d.com. So my Twitch username, put a .com on the end. Uh, it has uh, links to my work, some examples from my gallery, and um, links to all of my social media, my art station, all that sort of jazz, Twitter. So you can go to phildoes3d.com and you can read up about me on my website. If you feel the need. Um, so yeah, I want to try and do something a little bit more interesting with the seal at the top because the seal at the top, this is this asset is going to be uh, an inventory item in the game, and the game is based on an occult book called the Magus. Um, and each like with occult books, you've got a lot of different seals and signals and things. Sig, 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 sigil, sigils. That's the word. <laughs> Uh, so I want to highlight this sigil a little bit better <clears throat> because um, the mirror is obviously going to need to be used in conjunction with wherever this image appears in the game. So to make it stand out a bit more, I think we need to, uh, to add another texture to it. If I can find one I like. I did create this smart material for the actual Magus book. Let's have a look at what that looks like. I'm just going to close that uh, group up. Let's unmask with color selection to the top here. Now it looks like I made a, might have made a couple of different um, masks for this, so let's see what else we can add to it as well. also have a look at this one. No, I don't like that. What else we got? What else we got? Let's have a look at, um, let's have a look at the brass. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to group both of these together. I'm going to mask the group with a color selection. Let's go with another material as well. What would be good? Let's have a look at this. This was a silver material I created for the half in the game. I'm going to drop, drag that into the group that we made. Move it to the top of the group. We're going to add another color selection here. So 
So I'm just trying to make that that signal sigil stand out a little bit more in the mirror. Smurpery says, gang needs a silver potato. <laughs> a silver potato to put in the gold toilet. Hey, Smurpery, because we have a gold toilet in the game. Solid gold toilet seat and lid, which you would freeze your bottom off on when you sat on. But anyway, you guys wanted it, you got it. That's why I'm streaming while I'm making it on Twitch so that you guys can have feedback into what you would like to see in the game. <laughs> Smurpery says, yes. <laughs> Android Lutz says Trump's toilet. Does Mr. Trump have a gold toilet? He must get a cold bottom. That's all I can say. Incredibly impractical. Unless you could work out some way to heat it, I guess. Which I suppose you probably could. If you really, really wanted a gold, solid gold toilet seat. Personally, I would not. Okay, now. What? Happening here. What other materials do we have here that we could maybe do a bit of a mix on? I think these ones. Let's have a look at that. Uh, Android Lust says Trump probably hires someone to be his personal toilet warmer. Ew. Yuck. <laughs> You're probably right. You probably would. Um, let's pick another colour here. I'm, I'm just curious as to see what it's going to look like if we go... No, I don't like that. Let's undo that. Uh, Kayad Arts, Kayad Arts says, uh, what, what a thought, I know, <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? But yep, it wouldn't surprise me, Mr. Trump probably would hire someone to warm up his toilet for him. I don't know, yeah, oh, who knows, but let's, do, let's not go there. I was about to say something, but I thought, no, bite your tongue. Bite your tongue, Bill. Um... <laughs> I'm just thinking I might introduce a different material for these little swirly bits here, 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 and here. To try and add a little bit more interest in the mirror. Butts, that's right. <laughs> that's right, Smurfberry butts. So let me see if I can find another smart material, another material that might be interesting. Because why stop it? How many have we got? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why stop at six? We can have more. And each of those six has multiple layers within each folder anyway. So many layers, many, many layers. Let's just do a quick save. What color do I want around there? Um, 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 um. <laughs> Or do I want to change it at all? That's the question. Hmm. We don't want a dented metal. No, we don't really want a destroyed metal. Got an aged steel. Let's just see what this aged steel looks like. I'm just going to make sure I'm at the top of my layer stack. No. Let me just mask with color selection to these bits. No. I don't like that. Actually, I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to put it back.
Uh, I'm just going to pull back on the tolerance here. This tolerance slide is really interesting, actually. The, 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 it, it can be really useful if you want to sort of dial in exactly how you want your mix to go. If we pull back a little on the, um, on the output value, but I'm, I'm just trying to get a bit, bit more of an interesting colour mix, so these little ones here making them more of a silver than a gold. Just to try and make the... Um, mirror look a bit more interesting. Forge says I step away for a bit and get breakfast and the chat got really weird. weird. <laughs> we were talking about um, gold toilets because there's a gold toilet in, in the game, the House and Holler game that we're working on at the moment uh, and that was put in there because you guys wanted a gold toilet and we were saying how cold it would be <laughs> sitting on a gold toilet. It would be freezing. You'd get a cold bottom. A very cold bottom. Um, I'm just, I can't remember if I made the fangs of this a separate material ID color or not. So I might just pick the color selection. Yeah, I did actually. And make the fangs silver instead of gold because they'll stand out a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to do another pick with color selection also to the base here and make that a silver instead of a gold. Because who doesn't like silver? Nobody, that's who. Um, Hellforge says, I didn't know the White House was in the game. <laughs> no, we were talking about Trump's gold toilet. He can't really, does he really have a gold toilet? Is that a real thing or is that just um, a vicious rumor going around? Would ivory work? Would ivory work for uh, which Hellforge, an ivory toilet or are you talking about the mirror? Android Lost says, mentioning breakfast made me feel too American-centric. American, American -centric. Oh, Hellforge says the fangs. Ivory Snake, Snowfairy says, on the mirror. Yeah, Ivory probably would work. Do you think Ivory would be better than Silver? Not sure. Um, this is an inventory item, and as being part of the inventory, the the, uh, the interface for the inventory, uh, you can actually zoom in on the model. Like uh, normally in the inventory, you'd look at it from a distance like this, but there is a button to actually move to zoom in closer. So that's why we've got a bit of detail happening on these these assets that we're creating that are part of the inventory because you can actually zoom in a little in the gameplay in the game. Uh, just an idea. Yeah, I just don't know that. I don't really think that having the fangs as ivory is going to look really a lot different than silver because an ivory is like a white cream, a creamy white. Well, let's have a look. I'm actually not even sure if I have an ivory material.
No, I don't seem to. Let me just let check my material materials. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I'd have to make one. We'll leave it as silver at the moment. I can see where you're going with an ivory. What, if, what about if we do this? Let's, let us, let me just close these layers up so everything's nice and neat. I'm just going to save the project. We'll see if we can't fake an ivory with uh, with another material. Uh, Andrew Lust says ivory fangs shaved down from elephant tusks. Halford says uh, it's a bit more diffuse from the silver, so it would give the model some difference in the overall glossiness. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to see if I can find something that I can turn into like an ivory. So I don't actually have a, an ivory uh, material. Yeah, I don't. I could download, I could go to Substance Share and have a look there, but uh, actually, let me just do that really quickly. I'm going to have to do it all stream though, because it's on my other browser that I don't show on stream. Um, let me just do a search. Just save me making it. I could probably make one. without being, it wouldn't be too difficult. Substance. My apologies, I know it's boring looking at me looking off screen, but um, I just want to see if there's an ivory on substance share. Yes, there is. All right. I'm just going to log in to download it. And it's downloaded. Open it up. And I'm just going to put it in my folder. Documents, algorithmic, substance painter, shelf. Materials, is it a material? Is it Espizar? Was it Espizar? No, it's SPSM, so it's a smart material. SPSM. Where did it put it so I know what it called it? <laughs> you know, I really like the dark theme, but I found that sometimes it can make it quite difficult to actually see uh, the file, like when the file is, you know how it's sort of highlighted? It can be really difficult to see it. I'll just look at what it was called in the original folder. Ivory. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm just not sure if I need to restart Substance Painter to find that, so let's just have a look. Nope. Good. Smart program. Uh, okay, let's throw down the ivory here. Uh, again, I'm going to mask it with color selection just to the fangs. This is, this is what I thought with the ivory it's just basically <laughs> it looks pretty much like a white texture which is fine but we can do uh, something interesting we can try and do a bit of a mix so if I go to my smart masks and let's see here Let's look at hmm. Let's 
look at this cavities one. Yeah, no, actually, I changed my mind. I'm not going to add a smart mask here. What I might do though is I might add a paint layer. Let's reduce our brush size a bit. I'm just going to paint the silver back into the tips of the fangs here. Just to give the ivory a bit more interest because it's just looking a little bit boring being white. The fangs seem fragile, they do. Well, they're fangs. They're meant to be. I might just also paint it back in just up to the uh, in the uh, where it touches the top of the snake's head. Might just pull back on that a little bit. I think I might have gone a bit too far. Whoops. Might just take a little bit off the very ends of it as well. There we go. They do stand out a little bit more with the ivory than the silver. You were correct. In fact, I'm going to just remove a little bit more from the ends here. Because the ends are getting a little bit hard to see. Being silver. Nice Hellforge says, uh, Android Lost says, the mirror makes me want to make a snake. Make a snake. Everyone should make a snake. That can be your homework. Make me a snake.
Yeah, I, I do like the ivory. It was a good idea. It does make the fangs stand out a lot more. Again, I'm just going to keep removing just a bit of the silver from the end here. This looks a little odd being dark toward the end of the fang. We'll keep it at the top here, but we're just removing a little bit from the ends of the fangs. Just so they stand out a little bit more. Go make a snake. That's right. Wax Kink. It's good to see you, Wax Kink. How are you? It says, uh, is, the is that hand modeled? Yes, it is. Um, the snake was modeled in ZBrush. Well, the head of the snake was modeled in ZBrush. Uh, I modeled the body of the snake in uh, Max just by using um, a spring. Like there's a built-in object that you can make in Max. Like, you know, you can make a teapot and all that sort of stuff by using a button. There's one called spring. So I used the spring and then I just, um, then I just scaled it smaller at the bottom and larger at the top to actually create the snake's body. Um, the mirror, but yeah, it's just hand modeled. And then I, I've got a library of swirly bits, like a kit bash, that I can put on different bits and pieces to, to make things decorative. So it's pretty much how it was done. Wax King says, looks great, man. Love the design. Thanks, Wax King. Again, this is an, inv an inventory item for the game, for the House in the Hollow game. So, um, what else do we want to do with this mirror? Let's just do a quick save. I might look at throwing a, an overall dirt layer on everything, I think. Even though it does look quite dirty with the um, with the metal we're using, we'll see what a dirt layer looks like. Well, Wax King says, I just got home and I'm going to try and make myself do a bit of work before bed. Well, as long as you're feeling it. I'm <laughs> just like a, an hour ago or so, half an hour ago, we were saying, if you don't feel it, don't do it because you won't do good work. But if you feel like doing some work, do some work. Just don't push yourself if, it's, if you're not get, feeling the creative urge. Because, yeah, generally if you try and push yourself to do something you don't feel like doing, you're not going to do a good job. So I think our seal stands out enough in the, on the mirror. I don't think I really need to do much else with the seal. People will notice it. So they'll, they'll know in the game they've got to look for this seal in order to use the mirror in some sort of puzzle. Um, of course, when it goes, when, when we bring it into the Unreal Engine and start putting the study together, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> I can't remember. Fills up minds going, um, that's right, dirt layer, that's what we're working on. So let's just have a look at our smart materials here. Okay, we've got a dust and we've got a dirt. I don't generally use these ones. I generally um, either throw I might create my own sort of dirt layer using a different material, but we'll see what these look like. If they don't look good, then we can go back to our tried and true method. Just going to make sure I save, save it again. So let's start with the, um, the dirt smart material. See how it seems to just kill everything? It's really, it's a really heavy effect. We can dial it back. In fact, before we dial it back, let's throw a smart mask down. And uh, let's go with uh, this soft edges.
play with that curvature a little bit. Yeah, I just, I don't really like the material, the smart material, the dirt smart material. I just find it, it's a little heavy. Let's see if we can knock it back. Actually, we can even try changing the blending mode. Confusion, hello. Uh, Wax King says, very true, very true. I've learned that that's a hard pain many times. Same when you're stuck on a problem, if you can't work something out, and I, I, I'm guilty of this. You sit there and you try this and you try that and it doesn't work. And I find the best way to solve a problem that stumps you whether it's a programming problem or a design problem or whatever. It's just to take a break for a couple of hours. Pushing, uh, well, this is to me anyway, pushing myself to try and solve a problem that's taking, that I, that I just can't solve. Uh, I found that if I go away for at least a couple of hours, or even if I sleep on it overnight, generally the next day I can work it out. But anyway, Android Lost says, yeah, I thought I'd never get burnt out, but I blame COVID for it. Well, COVID's a good excuse for everything. You will get burnt out. Being a creative person, you can easily get burnt out. That's why, like I said, I take my break every middle of every year um, to recharge because being creative on demand is hard. It's hard. I mean, a lot of people think being creative is an easy thing to do. It's not. <laughs> not on demand. You know, when you've got deadlines and projects and clients demanding their work and all sort of jazz. Um, doing that on demand is not easy. So you can get burnt out very quickly. Wax King says, well, man, I've got to go shower and get busy. You guys have an awesome night. And I'm glad that I, I'm glad I got by. Well, thank you for popping in, Wax King. It was good to see you. You take care and stay safe, okay? Enjoy your shower. That's generally after, <laughs> I have a shower after the stream, actually. I have a, <laughs> it's usually the first thing I do when I finish streaming and I've got everything set up and I'm rendering out the video to upload to Twitch of the stream afterwards, uh, rendering it out in Premiere. When that's happening, I generally go and have a shower. And then after that, I have lunch. Uh, so yeah, we can look at changing the blending mode. Let's look at that first. I'm just going to start going through the blending modes here. Kadeart says, it's funny you mentioned burnout. I've been feeling burnt out this week, but your stream is giving me some motivation. Well, that's good to hear. Bit of inspiration is always a good way to get rejuvenated. At least that's what I found. Yeah, I'm just going through the different um, blending modes here. See if I can find one I like. This one's not too bad. So, no dirt, dirt, no dirt, dirt. Just adding a bit of dirt over it. Probably easiest to see on the snake here. As I turn it off and on, no dirt, dirt. And down the bottom here as well on this little bit. So if I turn the dirt off and turn the dirt on. Just want to check it hasn't knocked back this too much. It's not too bad. I don't know that the mirror probably needs much more. 
Let's do a quick save. And I probably have enough time before the stream ends in 45 minutes to work on another asset. And I want to work on a curtain. Um, yeah, I just I don't think I want to add anything more to the mirror. Probably don't want to get it, make it too busy. I think we should be okay. Oh, uh, yeah, because remember, when we bring it into the Unreal Engine, it's going to have like a ruby on the end, and these snake eyes are going to be gemstones as well. So we want to try and avoid making the rest of it too much more busy. Just wanted to make sure that that stood out. The sigil it should be fine. Let's uh, export textures for this. Put it in the right folder. So E, work, UE4 projects, models, study, chosen, mirror. Uh, I just want to rename the material hand mirror. hand mirror, the right path. Let's export. Good. It's going to open the directory to check. Yep, that's cool. So minimize that. All right. Save the project. Let's jump back into Max. Um, now I'm going to actually attach all these pieces together and resave the model so that when I bring it into Unreal, uh, everything will be ready to go. So I'm just going to select the mirror, collapse my stack, and attach the jewel on the end, the snake eye jewels, and the actual mirror itself. Okay, let's export the model. I'm just going to call it hand mirror underscore COND for condensed. And that's the one I need to bring it on real. I'm just going to save this project as well as a revision. So instead of revision four, we'll make it revision five. Good. Now we're going to open up uh, a curtain. So I've created a, a curtain I want to bring in to... In the game there's a ballroom, like an upstairs mezzanine level, uh, and that has these really huge two hanging chandeliers. I, I wanted some curtains around the outside of the cutout for the mezzanine to add a bit more interest to the room because as we were doing playthroughs of the game, I, I, I just felt that but that upper level looked a little bit empty. Looked, the large room looked too bare. Uh, so adding some curtains will be a nice way to actually make the room look more lived in and fuller. It sort of also it helps to uh, add it like a, a a depth layer to the for the player when they're looking across the room. So instead of looking across the room and just seeing a big empty space, if if you if you can put things like in front of the player. At different levels like if I try and do it with my face and my hands it makes it look more interesting than nothing at all uh, so that's the reason I've created this curtain and basically it's just uh, just going to sit either side of the cutout for the mezzanine now the curtain is just one-sided which is why it's black on the back and uh, I've done that on so that when we bring it into unreal it reduces the poly count by half and we can get around it by assigning a two-sided material inside of the Unreal Engine. So yeah, half the polys and we hide it by using a two-sided material. So this is actually broken down into two parts. There's this part which is all the wooden bits and the decorations. And then the curtains themselves are, are, are going to be a second material. I could have included added everything together and packed it 
pack the UVs, but because these curtains are so large, I, I want to give them their own material to, to make them look as nice as they possibly can be. If I try and combine it with the wood as one material, it's obviously going to reduce the, uh, the, the texture space for the curtains because the wood needs some texture space as well. So I'm going to keep them as two separate materials. Now that's going to increase the draw calls, but two materials is not going to increase draw calls hugely anyway. I mean, don't don't put 10 different materials on an object. I, mean, I had to go through the level and actually optimize a lot of stuff because I'd done that when I made the cinematic, but two will be fine. Hellforge says, how did you model that curtain? I've never really done anything with cloth, so I haven't a clue about the workflow. I use... Um, Mass Effects, which is built into uh, Max. So there's a tool called Mass Effects in Max that you can use to create clothing. It comes with Max. Uh, so that's what I do. Basically, what you what you do is you just create. I create a plane. Where are we? Yeah. So you just create a plane. You got to make sure it's high poly. Use the Mass Effects plugin, and then it, and which simulates cloth. So I'd sort of like I, I position my plane over my railing section up here like you know like that activate mass effects which will then drape the curtain down to hang so that's pretty much i, I use mass effects built into 3d studio max yeah all right so and the and the curtain's just basically made up of, of different different planes like I've just shown you. If I collapse my stack, so basically each each one of these is a plane. So there was one for that curtain, one for that curtain, one for that curtain, one for that curtain, and one for that curtain. Just a bunch of different planes that are then using the Mass Effects plugin, the Mass Effects modifier in Max. Max's version of Maya's in cloth, I'm assuming? Yeah, pretty much, I would say, Android, Android last. Hellforge says, cool, I knew Blender has a cloth sim as well, but I've never used it. It would be the same. All of these cloth sims work the same way, I'm assuming. I'm, I've only ever used Max's. I don't use Blender and I haven't used Maya. Maya's tool, but they pretty much would all work the same way. Start with plane, a high, high poly plane. Make sure it's high poly because these simulation plugins need high, a lot of vertices to work with. So you need to start high poly. You can then retopologize later if you want or do reduction if you bring it into a game engine, but um, you must start with a high poly. Otherwise you're not going to get nice fold lines if it's not high poly enough. Uh, that in the simulation itself has a problem as well because it works, the collision works based on the vertices. So if there aren't enough verts, then you're going to start, it's not going to collide correctly with say this um, rod at the top that's holding the curtain up you'll start to get it intersecting and going through the rod if the mesh isn't high poly enough so keep that in mind must be high poly uh, so yeah what I'm going to do here is I'm going to export this as two separate objects for um, texturing up inside of Substance Painter I think we'll start with the curtain itself so I'm just going to export the curtain. Make sure we get into the right folder. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? That's the next question. Up here. There we go. Um, I'm going to call this one... Curtains only. And we're going to create a new project inside of Substance Painter. We'll make sure we save that. Create a new project. Mm, boring curtain. Curtains only. Compute tangent space. I've already UV mapped it, by the way. So you don't have to watch me UV mapping it. Uh, now again, 
there are only polygons on one side, which is why it disappears when we rotate around to the back. So we're just going to have to concentrate on the front. Let's bake out our maps. Uh, I, there are material IDs because I want to texture this up as a two-tone curtain. So let's go into our ID channel and work on vertex color. Now who asked where I love you? Who wants me to say that? How do I find that out? I, I see my request, but I don't um, see who asked for it. Which one of you wanted me to say I love you? Tell me. And I will tell you I love you. I love you all, but I'll, I'll say, an, I say a special I love you to whoever requested it. It's right in the chat, is it? Wait. <laughs> Am I going blind? Where? Where is it in the chat? See, I'm not using Twitch chat. I'm using um, Discords. Confusion. Was it you? Well, if it was you, Confusion, I love you, Confusion. I love you more than everyone else in the chat. I love you, Confusion. Uh, yeah, it might be in Twitch chat, but it's certainly not in Streamlabs chatbot. It does not tell me who it was that requested it. I have my requests um, window open from Twitch and it doesn't tell me either. <laughs> oh well. Smurper says not using Twitch chat is your own problem. Uh, Android Dust says Streamlabs needs to get, yeah they do. I mean I do like Streamlabs because I use it so that we can set off my our little um, animated pop-ups and stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm using Streamlabs chatbot because uh, I use it to do all of this sort of jazz. And I don't want to have my Streamlabs chatbot chat open as well as my Twitch chat open because it's useless. <laughs> I'm having both of the same thing. Candy Lady, thank you Candy Lady for the follow. Welcome to Phil Does 3D. Uh, I do appreciate it. So thank you for following my Twitch channel, Candy Lady. Uh, again, just as a reminder guys, if you do want to join the Discord server, click the link I've just popped into Twitch chat. If you want to show up your work in the gallery or post links to your art station or your portfolio and all that sort of stuff. So, how about it? Um, so, vertex color, we're going to bake out the map. Make sure you use low poly as high poly. I'm going to remove the ambient occlusion because we don't need it. Uh, so yes, let us have a look. Now, basically what I did over the over the weekend was I opened um, Substance Alchemist. Over here, you can see it, my big head in the way. And I created some uh, satin materials that we're going to use to texture this up. I want to, I, I want to texture it up as a two-tone color. So I want probably a... Um, a blue and a gold. I think I created a blue and a gold satin material. Just so we have a bit of interest instead of it all being the one material color. It's a plain color. I don't want a pattern on this because it'll get too busy. The curtain design itself is very busy. And if we were to throw down like, I'll, I'll give you an example, I'll show you. If we were to throw down a material that is actually has a pattern on it. Let me find one that's got a pattern on it. I do have one because I know I've created it for the other uh, things that we created in the building like the bathroom. Here we go. So we created this gothic fabric that we used in the bathroom. If I throw that down, and scale it so it's a bit more right, you can see how it just starts to get way too busy. The curtain is busy, the pattern is busy, it just does not look good. So instead of that, I'm going to use the smart, um, not satin, velvet, the smart velvet materials I made. Satin. Oh, come on, Phil. I'm just going to, they're prefaced with my in front of them. I do that so that uh, it's easy for me to find my materials that I created. Might be under the materials.
yeah, here we go, velvet blue, velvet dark blue, and green, sorry, dark gold. It's looking a little green here inside of um, paint for some reason, but it should be a gold. Uh, but anyway, let's start with uh, throwing a couple of these velvet materials down. So let's go with the dark blue. Come on. And you, you already see just a plain color makes it's fine. You don't need anything too busy. I'm just going to increase the um, scaling on this. Let's go to a scale of around six. Just going to play with the roughness value here a little bit. Yeah, no, that will be fun. Okay, now I'm going to throw down the lighter blue on top of it. Just wait for the program to catch up. And again, we're going to do a scale of around six. I'm going to remove this layer at the bottom because it's a blank layer. I'm going to group both of these together. Mask it with color selection. Oh wow, really? I didn't do uh, vertex coloring. All right, <laughs> let's jump back into Max real quick. I knew I forgot something. I UV mapped it but did not vertex color it. So we're going to have that and that trying to work out a, a pattern here that might look interesting. I'm sort of trying to imagine in my head what the different colors, what might look cool. No, not that. Maybe, I think probably that. So let's make that uh, a blue. And then we're going to want that, that, and that to be, let's make that a yellow. Okay, let's just re-export that uh, model one more time. back into Substance Painter and edit our project configuration, reload the model. Rebake our maps, making sure that our ID is set to vertex color. Remove the ambient occlusion. Now we can pick a color. We're going to do some mixing in a minute. I'm just laying down the base colors at this stage. Okay, so now we're going to pick the, um, we're going to go with the, it should be gold. It's looking a little green. I'm not sure why. I may have to jump into Alchemist and have a look at the, uh, how I created the material and see if I can make some adjustments. Uh, again, let's uh, go six on the tiling, and then the lighter color now on top. We'll do a mask with color selection in a minute. And again, tiling six. I'm going to throw both of these in their own group. We're going to mask with color selection to that. Oh, no. 
Alrighty, now. I'm just... I don't think I can actually change any of the attributes here. They're not, it's not like Substance, um... Substance Painter, Substance... What's the other one? Substance Studio Director? What's the other... Not Substance Painter. Sub, what's the one where you make substances in? I haven't used it for ages and I can't remember the name of it. It's not like that program where you can actually expose parameters. Uh, Substance Alchemist is more for actually mixing substances together. Designer, thank you, <laughs> Hellforge man. Substance Designer. So it's not like Substance Designer where you can expose parameters that you can then um, alter inside of Painter. Uh, Alchemist is more for mixing different substances substances together to create a new material. Unit, <laughs> unit, unit. My apologies if I'm mispronouncing your name, designer. Thank you, unit. Man, because I don't, I don't use designer. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have access to changing a lot here, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just... Let, let's see if we can get a mix going and then I can see if I want to change the colors. So, so let's have a look here. Uh, let's start with the, with, let's start with the blue. So we have a light and a dark blue. Probably not dark enough, but again, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's go to our masks here and have a look at, um, Hmm. Let's have a look at fabric edges. Don't actually like this um, material. Yeah, no, I don't like this. We'll choose something else. Uh, let's have a look at. Um, let's have a look at dark white edges. Yeah, no, I don't like this one either. Okay, that's okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's look at... Let's look at this one. Dirt soft edges. Just blurring it to try and get an interesting mix of the two different blue colors. Right, let's keep going with another uh, mask. Let's look at surface worn. Thank you. 
I'm just trying to decide whether I want it to be a darker blue or a lighter blue. Probably a darker blue. jump into Alchemist really quickly just so I can make a couple of changes. So these are my velvets that I've created. Uh, so we have like a light blue a dark blue hmm. I might okay I'm just gonna jump back into substance painter here so I can sort of see what's going on I want to avoid making the curtains too dark, dark. Because uh, I think where they are in the room, they'll look better if they're a lighter colour as opposed to a darker colour. So I don't want to go too heavy on the blue. I might go with a, a lighter one though. So I might, when we jump into Substance, I'm going to remove the, the dark... Which one's which? Okay. The dark blue here is on top. So we'll trash that one. And the light blue. Let's play with our filters a little bit. Let's see what filters we've got here. I might throw a dust filter down. I just want to see what this looks like. I'm just going to turn the filter off temporarily so I can concentrate on the colour. Colour variation, let's throw one of those down. Under colours, we don't need ten, we only need maybe maybe three. Which is vary up the colour a little bit. Let's look at our dirt layer again. Hey, it out. It's been lovely watching you work. Thank you. Well, hopefully we'll see you again soon. And thank you for the cheer, Kayada, for the 50 bits cheer. That's very good of you. Thank you, Kayada. I hope you, you enjoyed the stream. And thank you for the cheer. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm looking, I'm trying to create a velvet material that's uh, 
a lighter color so that we can do a mix inside a substance painter. So if I export this color, I'm going to call it my velvet plane. Um, I'm just wondering if I should knock this dust back a little bit. Now we can export this material. To our materials folder. I always like to create a new folder for anything that I make myself. This makes it easy for me to keep it separate from stuff that I download. I always put my in front of it as well, just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's export that and wait for our alchemist here to do the export. It'll just take a, a little while. It, Alchemist does take a, quite a, a little a while to do an export of uh, a material. We are exporting it at 4K as well, so so it's probably hidden behind my overlay there. But there's a little bar, progress bar. We've got to wait for it to finish. So what do we talk about while we're waiting? Uh, Hellforge says that's a really good idea. I probably should start doing that myself rather than have every material in the same folder. Yeah, I just find it's e easy for me to organize stuff and easy for me to see exactly what my stuff is as opposed to stuff that either comes with the program or stuff that I download. Uh, but that's the, another reason why I put my in front of everything so that when I do a, a filtered search inside a substance painter, it's easy for me and quick for me to find everything that I've made. Smurberry says, uh, steak fries, oh, steak fries, I'm so hungry, I'm hungry this morning, steak fries, mm. Smurberry says, delicious steak fries, well, so we ah, <laughs> stop it, I'm hungry, that does sound nice, Android Lust says, let's talk about your caffeine addiction, <laughs> you know, I bought, I've recently gone out, to buy, and I've gone through four different brands of coffee, because the coffee I normally drink, the company changed the flavor like <clears throat> yeah they've changed it they changed the packaging and when they changed the packaging they've changed the the flavor the, the recipe so i'm trying to find another coffee that i like and i'm really picky when it comes to coffee so i've gone through four different brands of coffee uh in the last three days the last week let's say because every time i go out i grab a different brand so i can find one that i like because the one that i usually like the company decided to change the flavor so Hellforge says, I think it's called Creative Juice. <laughs> it is called Creative Juice, that's right. Not coffee, Creative Juice. Good good point, Hellforge. Android Lust says, Creative Juice. I like that idea too. It's almost finished exporting. You can see it just up there. Uh, so what I'll do with this is I'll use this as a base layer underneath of both the blue and the gold. Uh, just uh, to use as like a wear layer. Fabric wear. But I like that creative juice as well. That idea of copy being creative juice. Ooh, nice. Chili juice has posted something in the Discord. What is this? This is a new environment I made for a stylized contest. It looks really lovely actually. I want to show that off uh, at the end of the stream. Beautiful.
Um, yeah. Chili, I'll show it at the end of the stream. I'm not sure if you're actually watching the stream or if you're just in Discord. <laughs> uh, but I'll show it all. It looks really nice. Okay, that's exported. Let's jump back into Substance Painter. Uh, yeah, again, I love looking at the work you guys make, so... Uh, feel free to pop any work in the gallery and I can show it up on stream. If you don't want me to show it up on stream, just let me know and I won't. I wonder why. I wonder... If, oh, there we go. Why do I have an incandescent velvet? Anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this inside of this group. Uh, again, we're going to make sure we scale it six times to match everything else. Uh, now we're going to throw a smart material, smart, smart mask rather down. A health board says, I'm still stuck on materials for the current project I'm working on. Why? What are you stuck on, health board? What do you mean you're stuck on the materials? Maybe we can help. Um, just look at dust occlusion here. Uh, I'm actually going to turn up the height and the normal and roughness on that uh, layer there. Let's look at our material again, our smart mask, I mean. Uh, Hellforge says, but when I'm done, I can toss a render or two on the Discord. Do, because I love looking at the stuff all you guys make. So if you're making anything, it doesn't matter what it is or what quality level it's at. If you're happy to show it all, post it in the Discord in the gallery. And uh, if, if, as long as you don't mind, I'll show it off on stream. Hellforge says, just can't get the materials to look right. Uh, it's mainly the roughness that gives me my grain. <laughs> Well, when you are when you're happy with it and you want to show it, no pressure. I just don't know if this smart mask is actually what I'm looking for. Don't actually think it is. We'll see if we can play with the, one of the blending modes to see if we can't make it a bit more useful. We may not be able to, but we'll see. Uh, we'll just use a different smart mask in which case if I can't get it to blend the way I want it to. Yeah, look, I'm, 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 we're going to use a different smart mask. I'm just going to clear out that, uh, remove the mask here. Okay, let's find something else. Um, Let's have a look at this one. Hellforge says, if I wasn't trying to make it a portfolio piece, I'd just throw together some procedural material stuff in Blender and call it done. But because it needs to be a higher quality than what I've previously done, I'm banging my head against Substance Painter and all the headaches that come with it. I actually quite like Substance Painter. It's a great paint, paint program. But you do have to sort of like play with it to get things to mix properly. 
which is what you see me doing here. <laughs> and I'm having a bit of an issue getting it to mix the way I want it to. Uh, without having to get in there and do it by hand, which is always an option. I want the curtains to look quite old. So, I'm just seeing if I can't find a mix that I like. Let's play with the blending mode now. having a problem getting this to blend the way I want it to. In fact, I think what I might do is... How do I want to do this? Um, let's go back to my bell bit. Again, I'm going to throw the dark blue over the top. Up the scaling to around six. Let's change the blend mode. I'm just doing doing this to see. I don't want to try and avoid jumping back into Alchemist to create another material. So I'm going to see if I'm if using one of the blend modes might give me what I want. to get the curtains right because they are quite large in the room so they have to look right
I'd like the light blue. Let's see if we can do a mask again with this. Let's try this mask. information I think. Normal can stay on. Roughness can stay on. Quite a few layers here. Let's look at this layer maybe. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Playing with the um, blending again just to see if I can get a blend happening that looks more interesting. Do a quick say. Um, Mez for mezzanine curtain. Oh, I actually want to show this image that uh, Chili posted. So let's have a look at that. Um, I think we'll finish this off tomorrow. I still want to do blending on the gold. Uh, we'll look at it tomorrow. We'll finish it off tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's look at the, st the image Chili posted. Beautiful. I love the colour. Really nice work. And uh, Chili said in the post, uh, an environment made for a stylized contest. 
do a quick save then show Discord out. That's right. Sounds like a good plan. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. Chilly, I love it. I love the um, composition. I love the colour. Colour is beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, really nice. I love the stylized modelling work as well. So beautiful work, Chili. Thanks for posting it in the Discord gallery. Thanks for letting me show it on the stream. Love the colours. Looks great. Yeah, it does. I love the colours. It does look great. The modelling is really beautifully done. The colouring is beautiful. I love the colours as well. It's really vibrant uh, and yeah, stylized. So it does. It looks really cool. I hope you do well in the contest. Beautiful work. Um, yes, so we will finish the curtain tomorrow, I think. But I do want to thank you guys and girls though very much for hanging out with me and for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. I do again want to thank KDART, Candy Lady, uh, Krivori, and for following the channel. I do want to thank uh, KDART as well for the cheer. Um, Remember, guys and girls, join the Discord server if you haven't already and you want to. Show up your work. I do appreciate you guys being here and watching. I will be back on again tomorrow. Same time, same place, 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States. We will finish off the curtain and then... I don't know if there's a lot else I really need to do. Uh, maybe a, there's a box, I think, a decorative box, which is in a similar vein to the mirror. We might do that. We'll see. Definitely the curtain. I will finish the curtain tomorrow. Same time, Phil. Same, same Phil time, same Phil channel. That's right, Smurfberry. Same Phil time, same Phil channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys, um, have a good night. See you guys.